In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the layer palette right here and the importance of it. So for example, there's a bunch of layers on this logo right here. And let's say I wanted to click this M and I just can't do it because this layer is covering it. Well, all you have to do is go over to the layer palette and you could either click on the M and now I could do something, but then this thing kind of gets in the way. Well, I could have a choice to uneye it or I can move this to the back or something. So I'm gonna uneye this, I'm gonna click the M, and now I could put something else. Let's just say I want a J, and then I want that W as well. So I'm gonna click on that W, and I'm gonna put M or something like that. Now I have JM instead. And then I could put that layer palette right back up on the top. You could also send this below so that these are above that layer palette as well. So that's always a good idea. Here's another example of a logo. And let's just say you had some layers that are just clip art layers, just like this one or this. You could rename these, like I renamed it tree, but you could rename it to whatever you want, art or tree art or whatever you want. So you know the difference between that clip art and some other clip art. So if I wanted to adjust this, I could say wave or something like that, W-A-V-E. And there you go, press enter. Now I know what that clip art is. And I could always move that up or down just like I showed you. Another thing to take a note is you could take this layer, let's say right here, and you could right click and you could send it to the back. And what that will do is it'll send it all the way to the back so you don't have to pull everything down. It will just send this to the back. You'd always move it up manually. But doing that, if you have a bunch of layers and you right click and you send it to the back, will help you just move everything to the back if you wanted to. Now that's all the way in the back, so you can't see it if I move it over. Now let me right click and I'll send it to the front. Now it just sent it back to the front. So it makes it really easy for you to do that. You could also send it backwards and that'll send it to the back of something else. So I'm gonna undo that by clicking undo. But sending it backwards, what that does is it takes it from this to down here, so uh, position one to position two, for example, and you could do it here as well. You could uh, cl right click, you could click here, and you could say send backwards, and then it'll send it from here to here, or you could do it from here, right click, send backwards, or whatever you wanna do, and it'll do that same thing. I actually uh, clicked on that sun right here, this circle as well, so that's why you saw that. But that's how you work on that, and you could always click this option button to see send to back, send to forward. You could copy this, you could duplicate this. This is a really cool feature and it just duplicates this. If you copy this, you could copy it and then you could press control V on your keyboard and you could paste this if you wanted to do that or control C and then control V and that will allow you to copy and paste things as well. And that's uh, will come up on your layers as well. So there you have it. That's how to use these layers palettes. Have fun with it, and I will talk to you on the next video.